Hey guys, in this video, we are going to see how we can use Flutter and in-app database of a app using a package called as Moor. So let's click on this experiments app. So basically this app is a UI influenced by Netflix. It asks who's watching say a scene and currently a scene. So and it has two options viewers and a scene. So this viewers is as in this value a scene is directly loaded from database. Once I start this app, if there is nothing present in the database and let's see if I click on viewers. OK, it changes to viewers and let's see if this value is persisted as we close the app. Now open the app again. OK, so it persists viewers. So let's try again going to a scene and closing the app. It should persist. OK, it persists. So this values is directly fetched from database. And now I'll show you what is the database definition of this table. So this is the table called as modes and it has key user underscore name, watch underscore mode, modified underscore date and primary key I have set it as user underscore name. So this is used using a package called as more. I'll show you. So it's called as more underscore flutter. Or earlier we used to have SQL flight, but in SQL flight, we used to have queries like select star from etc etc in more we can have this also and or we can also have a dart specific queries so i'll show you example so we have defined here user underscore name watch underscore mode and modified date and the primary key we have set it as user name which we have seen here primary key user underscore name so this is possible in a dart specific manner if you are comfortable in that, then you can always use this plugin for your in-app databases. And in case you want to upgrade your database, which is definitely a must when we change the schema, you can still have migration strategy here. So you can upgrade your database when you increase the app version. So all this is possible using more. So that's it from this video guys if you like this video please comment and subscribe to my channel thank you